It's the movies, but not as we know them. These film fans in Berlin are testing out a new dimension in the cinema universe. This is a pilot program for a new virtual reality experience. This two-dimensional view is a world away from what someone with those goggles is seeing. The first virtual reality productions are short films, featuring 360-degree vision and generally shot in 3D. London-based firm Happy Finish are among the pioneers of this cutting-edge film technology. When I'm watching the movie on the screen here, I'm having to use the mouse to move around like this. Whereas when I have the, the goggles on, I can move the goggles and it will automatically adjust my view. So that's the effect that I'll get. So essentially it's like looking around in real life. Virtual reality movies can make viewers feel part of fictitious worlds, but can they also convey complex storylines? Happy Finish dared to make the first experimental production with dramatic elements. This room is fitted with multiple cameras shooting everything simultaneously. Viewers are guided by sound and lighting effects towards where the action currently is to prevent them looking the wrong way and missing something in the plot. Clearly the two key players in this room are here by the window. Um, I'm looking at them. But having the ability to look around the room um, gives me more information, gives me more context um, that I'm actually there, I'm part of the environment, I have presence in the experience. And also there may be things that are surprising that you can reveal, um, which don't necessarily play a part in the plot of the narrative, but add to that context. Virtual reality filmmakers are setting themselves apart with a new multi-sensory approach. It's so closely connected to your, 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 sen your sensory experience in a way that cinema isn't. So in VR we have visual stimulation, audio stimulation, stimulation of being able to see our hands potentially, sti like, um, interaction with other people. It has all these extra elements that cinema doesn't. It really makes cinema look like quite, a, um, quite basic, actually. For now, the cinema experience is probably the more comfortable option, considering those goggles weigh up to a half a kilo, but the viewing experience really is out of this world.